All righty. Let me know if you could see me now. <laughs> All right. All right. Are you hearing me okay? Hearing me okay? Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Can you see me okay? Can you see Not me? yet. Okay. Not yet. All right. So let's right. get started here again. Technology, I tell you. Um so I guess you weren't able to see me, you were just seeing a black screen. Once again, I am Claudette with Miss Puff Creative Corner. And like I said, I haven't done a live in a while, so I'm a little rusty with this. And I'm an independent 7-Up demonstrator. And then I just wanted to say congratulations to Nicole Smith. She was the winner of our giveaway. And this is our craft kit in a box by Stampin' Up. And this is a monthly subscription and it comes with everything you need to create the projects in here and this one this particular one you could create 10 christmas cards so it comes with everything the card bases the envelopes it comes with the ink it comes with the stamps and um so it's nice because then you could really use those um stamps as photo polymer stamps a nice cute kit so congratulations to nicole and then what i want to do is share with you some birthday cards that um, a couple crafters sent out to me. My birthday was last month, October 23rd, and I'm part of a Facebook book group that share the love of paper crafting. And um, so they sent me out some birthday cards and I wanna share those with you so maybe you'll get some inspiration from that. And it was so nice to get Happy Mail. And you're just getting all these cards from people you don't even know, you haven't met but they share the same love of crafting. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to turn you down on the tabletop and um, share some of those cards with you, okay? So if you guys on the sidelines, drop me a comment. Let me know that you're here and you're hearing and you're seeing me, okay? So let's go ahead and let's see if I could get this up here on the screen. let's see I did this before and it was all good now you get live and everything just messes up okay let's see give me a minute here and there we go all righty so this card this birthday card was sent to me by Tammy Williams all right in Minnesota, I believe she is. And I am going to be casing or remaking this card tonight. Okay. So let me know if you guys could hear me. So Warren is saying that we're getting some echo. And so let's see if we could take care of that. So you're getting some echo? Okay, Warren, let me know if that's better. Before I proceed, leave me a comment and let me know if that echo has cleared up at all.
Is it still there? All right, so this is called a pinwheel card, and I really love this one. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how we create that one. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Showing you the remainder of my birthday cards. This one here is from Palma. It looks like also in from Michigan. And All right, let me know if that echo got any better. Then we're going to continue to move on. And then this card right here. I really like the simplicity of this card and it makes it look so elegant. I like the blue and she put it in a white card stock. So you have that white edges showing and the candles. Um, you have that blue that she pulled from the candles here and the um, uh, layer here and then you have happy birthday she have that ink in blue and she have some little gems right there I think that is so cute and is the echo still there and she hand wrote a note inside and that is so adorable Then let's see, we have one from California, LaDonna. And this is a nice black and white card. Oh, and look how it opens up. Let me see, I have it upside down. Warmest wishes for a very happy birthday. That is cute, I like that design. And she left a little note inside. It said, I didn't sign this card before I sent it off to you, but it holds my warmest thoughts, invisible but true. And if you find time you need to brighten someone's day, then take this card and sign it and send it on its way from LaDonna. I, I love that saying. Warren, what do you mean when you say it's more of a Facebook? And then this other birthday card is like a punch art design um, because look, she, it, this seems like it was a circle. She just folded down in half, put a little triangle for the beak, put a little gem for the eyes and created the feathers and probably drew in the legs. It says happy birthday. She wrote me a little happy birthday note. And uh, I think it says Amanda on this one. It says, says you're still a spring chicken. Cute, cute, cute. And Amanda is from Illinois. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see, I'm just trying to keep all of these in the right envelope so okay next we have one from Shauna Shauna is in Arizona and this one she says it says happy birthday on it she have a couple layers the card base is white she has a black layer green and these are embossed with embossing folder. I give it a little texture, the floral print. She popped up some, she cut out some flowers here too and stuck those on. Cut out the happy birthday. So add a little texture and add some dimensions to that. She designed the inside. Very cute, thank you. So next we have one from Jean and she's from Minnesota. This is a bright and cherry card. Look at it. And if you just look at it, it says happy, happy, happy. And it makes you so happy when you see, look at all the beautiful bright colors. And 
And um, I like the, the polka dots in the back. All right, so we'll turn the volume down on that. Let me know if the echoing is gone now, Warren. And so the polka dots in the back, that's just so beautiful. I just love the colors. I had it upside down there for you. That's better. And she hand wrote me a note inside. Cute. All right. And um, next up, let's see, this one is from Michelle. And this is really nice. And again, you could get design inspirational ideas from here. So she cut out some little rectangle strips. She has the blue borders to the back of the designer series paper, that on top of a nice pink. She have the sentiment in pink on top of white, and then she also have it layered with that blue to there as well. And then she has a little um, strip of designer series paper here in the inside. Okay, and she says news flash birthdays found to be in good found to be good for health. Studies show that people who have more birthdays live the longest. And then um, that is so cute. All right, I love that. Yay, no more echo. I had the volume up on, on one of the machines, that's why. Let's see, and I think I think I had one more. Let's see. I'm mixing up my cards here. All right, so let's go ahead. I had one more, but I don't know where it is. But let's go ahead and get started with our project. And this is the one that I'm going to be replicating right here with the pinwheel. It looks complicated, but it's really not that complicated. And this is my design that I created. You can, so you could make this for any occasion. And I make this like for, for birthday and it's more of a gingerbread -y, um, sugar cane or candy lane kind of theme and I think that's all the rave now for the holidays candy cane lane and um, gingerbread I just love it and so we'll go ahead and see I just did a little gingerbread guy in the inside and then I'm going to show you how we created that so what you're going to need to start out with I'm going to bring in a grid piece of paper here and you're going to need two pieces of cardstock and these are measuring two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So you're gonna need two pieces of that. And I am going to line one point up here and one point down this way. And I'm gonna be bringing in some snail adhesive. And then we're gonna add that to this. Then we're gonna take this one and place this to the top here, going the other direction, and you could line it up so you have your lines on your grid paper so you'll have an even amount on either side. You don't have to do it this way. And if you have some of the snail that came through, don't worry because you're gonna be putting your, um, you're gonna cover, be, we'll be covering that up with some designer series paper, okay. So next, we're going to have eight pieces of your designer series paper. It could be cardstock. And those are measuring one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And these measurements are in inches. And I am using my silicone mat. And we're going to bring in that snail again. And what we're going to do for the first one, particularly on the first one, you just want to put adhesive to one side or just to one corner, okay? And the first one, so that's important there on the first one. And then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and attach that here to one corner. You want just a little bit of the red showing. And then we're gonna alternate um, the designs. So next we want the stripes to be showing 
and I have to think about this now, you know, so we want to put adhesive on the peppermint side. So then we're going to come down and you're going to add it here to your next corner. I just want to make sure that is nice and straight that I'm seeing enough of the red. Then we're just going to continue to alternate like that. I need the peppermint side to be showing. And it doesn't matter which side you um, put the adhesive on. It's just that is very important for that first side. So the next time, the next one, next up would be the stripes. And this, guys, could be for any occasion. It's just a different way, different fun way to create your cards. I tell you, I love usually my to do with my daughter and my nephews and my son too, my kids I should say, and we'll do a gingerbread house just traditionally every um, holiday. And I never did thought about decorating with just gingerbread or making a candy cane lane, but you know, you just see it all over now. I just went in the dollar tree the other day and it just had uh, the most adorable um, gingerbread um, decorations and it was only for a dollar I mean not cheap looking at all and then the last one would be the stripes up and this is why you don't want to the first one you really don't want to stick in because you have to shove it underneath So, again, you're going to go from corner to corner. Wait, this is what you're going to keep that up here. You're going to keep this tip, keep this up. I will try to shove both ends in. But you're just going to shove this one side here in and keep the other side out. You got me? Hope I didn't confuse you there to the end. And that, <laughs> there is the pinwheel design. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring in our cardstock. So uh, my card base is 11 by four and a quarter. I scored it at five and a half, and that again is in inches. And we're gonna go ahead and fold it down. And this is just a nice brown, especially for gingerbread. And this is called Cinnamon, cinnamon Cider by um, Stamping Up, like I said. This is a Stampin' Up products. And what we're going to need next, hold on one second. Forget the top of my card base. I am so sorry, I have to cut uh, my top layer, I forgot to get that ready. I did a couple of these already here. So I'm gonna cut this down here. This is a card base that I had from one of the um, paper pumpkin kits. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this down. And I'm gonna use it as my top layer. 
So I'm going to cut it down to five and three eighths by four and um, one eighth. Just, I just want a hint of that brown showing. And these, this stripes is just like, remind you of candy cane, doesn't it? Alrighty, thanks for bearing with me for that. This happens when you go live, you know? You think you're all prepared. All right, hopefully I got everything else. So let's see if I cut that enough here. No, that seems like it is smaller, but we will make it work. Yeah, that cardstock is a little smaller. And let me just make sure that would fit. So let's measure this it is not four and a quarter this is closer to four inches so let's just make this a little smaller i don't know where i got that piece of cardstock from so let's just cut this down a little further And there, that would make that work. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is add some wet glue to the back of this. And just add that to the... And just center it so you'll have even amount of that brown on either side. And then, and these are homemade cards and this is what people love about getting these type cards because they're homemade, it's nothing perfect. So and then I'm gonna add this here in the middle. And I'm just gonna use wet glue for this again you could use your snail if you would like and I actually prefer the wet glue over the um, snail because then you get a nicer stronger stick alrighty so next what I am going to do is I have like a half an inch circle in that red and this is called real red Stampin' Up calls it real red add a little and then I'm just gonna add it here in the center cover up that little hole there And then I already create a little sentiment that says sending lots of love. So, you know, when you have a statement like that, it could be for any occasion, right? And I think I am going to put this holly here. Let's see. Let me put this down first. And then we'll see what we put on there. If I would put a, should put a Christmas tree here. And then I have a little bowl and I just love this bowl here. We have it in a black too. It is called Glittered Organdi um, Ribbon. And it is so cute. It's white and it have little, um, glitter on there let me see if i like that or the holly berry is better i 
you know I don't want it off the edge too much because it's gonna get crushed and have a little Christmas tree and it has a little glitter on there let's see how it's gonna look if it's too much what you guys think too much on the Christmas tree all right let me just get some hot glue gun and I am going to glue down my ribbon I mean sometimes I use the I think I'm gonna put the tree in sometimes I use um, a glue dot but that doesn't really hold your ribbon in place at all See, I'll put the Christmas tree there and then I'm gonna add some hot glue to the back of my bow and then I think I'll just put it here off to the side Then in the inside, uh, we're gonna add some white cardstock, which is measuring four. Or, well, I'm gonna have to cut this down here too because cut it a little shy four inches because this the base of our card was a little smaller. see if that's going to fit yeah that's fine so I'm just going to add some glue to this and I'm going to just put a sentiment on this later but it's always good to put your sentiment on before because if you mess up you have two sides of a paper right Then in the inside, I have my extra little gingerbread guy. And Stampin' Up! use that a stamp set and a punch for this. And I just love this set, but they don't have it anymore. And then just add in there. And let me just show you guys here. They have another gingerbread set, and it's called Frosted Ginger. And you have little cookies it could be ornaments too as well and um, this is new by stamping up they also have the dies to go with it for your peppermint and um, the designer series paper that where I got um, these little squares from they have the designer series paper to go with it and these are six by six but look at all the nice little frosty looking prints that they have on here. Peppermints, really nice. Really, really nice. You could do all sorts of um, crafting with that. So let me bring in the other cards that I created there. And I did one more. So this one, I add a candy cane to it. This one, I add like happy birthday on there. And let's see here, let's go back up here. Okay guys, so we're back on me. Okay, I have to do a little bit more live so I could figure out this uh, 
these app and it'll be a much easier for me so thank you guys for tuning in and sharing a bit of your time um, with me leave a comment down below and if you have not subscribed yet if you like this kind of stuff go ahead check out my other videos subscribe hit that bell um, icon so you can be notified when i upload my latest videos thank you guys for tuning in again congratulations to nicole smith um, um the winner of the last month paper pumpkin kit yeah i do love the um candy cane to myself warren i think that's my favorite the candy cane one but hey thank you guys for tuning in have a great week